Hey, welcome back, guys. So, in this video, we are going to start a new series of making a realistic environment inside the Blender. So, let's get started for this video. So, in this video, we are going to uh, teach how to uh, texture paint the uh, terrain inside the Blender because uh, it's a little bit easy in the softwares like Unity or Unreal Engine, but th uh, those are uh, game engine, not uh, 3D modeling software. So, it's a bit much, com uh, bit much complicated inside the Blender. So, uh, it's not that much complicated, so there is no need to fear like uh, uh, nothing uh, nothing there to be fair of. So, just let's get started for this video for texture painting. So, if you, uh, I'm just gonna add a new plane right here here and inside the material i'm just gonna uh, add a new material called uh, terrain and also i'm just gonna name this terrain also so now if you just go inside the texture paint this is just a, a pink object with no texture on it so cause adding uh, we should have a base texture right here inside the uh, material so i'm just gonna click on this and add an image texture and create a new image texture which is I guess 204 okay for now 1024 resolution on the 1k resolution is fine so I'm just gonna name it uh, trial texture yeah as if you press ok so if you now go inside the uh, texture paint you can see we are able to paint the colors right on the mesh but this is not we, uh, what we really wanted because we have a uh, really a PBR texture like uh, with the normal map and uh, uh, roughness map and all and this is just a solid color so we don't really want this to be painted like this uh, we don't want our terrain to be painted like this uh, if you if you are not targeting the Tony graphics but if you are targeting the some realistic graphics so this is not an option so I'm just gonna get rid of this cause uh, this this is something we don't want I'm just gonna get rid of this one so uh, yeah and, um, yeah whatever so uh, let's talk about how to uh, texture paint inside the blender uh, and the perfect method to do that so I'm first of all I'm just gonna add some bumps in this like 20 loop cuts uh, on the both sides so that okay, I guess huh, yeah 20 loop cuts on the both side and then uh, in the modifier I'm just gonna add a displace modifier to just giving it a little bit of bump so that it doesn't look uh, too much weird I'm just gonna select a cloud uh, for uh, uh, just little bit bumping and I'm just gonna make the strength uh, smaller something like 0 0.1 yeah 0 0.1 is completely fine so if you want some uh, like better result you, just, you should just add a subdivision surface and increase the viewport to be 2 or 3 or something whatever you want so I'm just gonna go with this so this is not something we really wanted so I'm just gonna increase the scale I guess yeah right here scale around something like this so this is just a uh, something random uh, random kind of displacement inside the blender so we this wasn't necessary part for this video because uh, uh, the special part we are going to talk about is the texture painting so just go inside the shading panel now so uh, here we have uh, just a black texture which is just nothing I'm just gonna get rid of this one and just delete this one so now let's talk about how to texture paint inside the blender uh, so I'm just gonna get some texture I have so I guess it's yeah i'm just gonna use some quicksil textures but yeah it doesn't matter whatever you use in this video because uh, it is doesn't really necessary for this video so uh, right here i'm just gonna use uh, a grass texture from uh, uh, quicksil i'm just gonna plug this color inside the color and the normal map uh, simply add a normal map as it is you uh, add in the every video uh, like uh, you know the basics of the blend trend uh, so that you should know how to add normal map and roughness map or anything else so make this to be a non color color space so that there is no problem in the future uh, so now you can see inside the material panel this is totally a grass texture but the yeah, roughness is too much I, I'm just gonna uh, make this roughness all the way to the one uh, yeah so and specularity i guess i'm just going to re reduce this yeah so i guess this uh, grass is looking complete uh, really good so this is not a perfect grass or something but yeah it's looking really good uh, so i'm just going to add another texture i'm just going to get rid of this one and yeah now duplicate this principal shader we have just duplicate on the top of it 
and now add another material so i have this uh, muddy material so i'm just gonna plug this color inside the color and all the way down just uh, this normal map i'm just gonna duplicate this one because we have already have it we don't have to create it again and again so i'm just gonna make this to be a non-color and this is roughness map i'll also make this to be non-color and plug this right inside the roughness map so i'm just gonna uh, collapse this uh, texture so that we don't pick uh, don't take so many space because this material is gonna be a little bit a uh, little bit of big so yeah now if you just go inside the material editor you are just gonna uh, black out because we do, uh, didn't have this uh, principal shader plugged inside the surface so yeah uh, just plug this one inside the surface so you can now see how is this mold uh, looking I'm just gonna make this peculiarity to all the way to zero because we don't really want that so this mud is texture this one and uh, we have another texture which is a grass texture so now if you want to add a uh, like mud in some part and grass in some part so how to do that so there is a uh, really simple way to do this kind of stuff so just go and search uh, mix shader as we talk about the previous video if you have seen it the texture painting inside uh, te uh, realistic texturing inside the blender so add a new node which is mix shader node and plug uh, uh, one inside the bottom and one inside the top so whatever uh, it's up to you uh, whatever you're gonna plug and plug the shader into the surface so now you can see uh, if you go to the material window now you will see something weird or uh, yeah nothing much fancy you can see we have a grassy effect and also that muddy effect uh, this is because if you just uh, uh, change this factor all the way to the zero there is gonna be just mud and change this factor all the all the way to one this is just gonna be a grass so all, uh, all we have to do we just have to create a texture that controls this factor and so that there uh, there's gonna be a grass in some part and uh, mud in the some part so uh, I'm just gonna create a new image texture yeah image texture and plug the color inside the factor so now this is just a blackout uh, black image texture so there is gonna be just mud so I'm just gonna create a new texture and name it mask map one yeah and uh, 1k resolution is completely fine so I'm just gonna hit ok uh, so if you see uh, this is a mud texture and if you go inside the texture painting and just uh, paint something uh, not green you should just play with the white and black so I'm just gonna make it to be completely white and if you paint something uh, white here and all the other part is black so we are painting on the mask map remember this thing and if you go inside the shading back you can see in this part we have grass and in this part we have mud so if you say if you just go inside the material editor you can see we can now paint a texture right on the grass but this is a bit much of laggy if you don't uh, have a high specification uh, pieces then just don't try it just uh, go all the way like this and check the how it looks and if it doesn't look good you can just play with it uh, more and if you just make this to be a gray not black and not white so if you just make it to be a gray like at the corners and if you go inside the material view again so you can see right here there is a grassy part and also a muddy part mixed right here so you can just paint it something around this so this is this was a texture painting so i guess the we are done in this video but still i'm just gonna show how to add a third text, uh, texture this process is completely same but yeah still i'm just gonna uh, uh show by adding the texture so that you don't uh, face any kind of problems in the future so i'm just gonna again duplicate this principal shader again and go back uh, to add a new texture so I have another texture which is uh, also a grass texture but yeah it doesn't really matter what texture it is for now so I'm just gonna plug this color inside this color node and I don't have the normal maps and all for this grass but yeah we, uh, we can really work with this so now uh, we have three shaders but mix shader just have two inputs so what should we do just plug uh, just first remove uh, the surface from the material output and duplicate the mix shader and plug the mix shader at the bottom and the new shader at the top so the, you can figure it out after some time if the, it doesn't work which to place at bottom and which to place at top you don't have to just uh, uh, see whatever it's going so now 
if you just go inside the material window this is uh, again this is gonna be a something weird effect which is weird or some uh, basic effect uh, the just a mixing of two shaders so um, sometimes if you use three or four mixing shaders so you can see this is not something we wanted so yeah you can see this is what is gonna be the uh, yeah um, so I'm just gonna make this to be a zero and now create another image texture so here image texture and name this to be mask 2 sorry mask 2 so this is a bit of long uh, long process uh, for texture painting inside the blender but yeah I guess this is worth it cause uh, you can know inside the future uh, in the future so now uh, I, there is just sh uh, shader completing so that the material just loads up uh, and now if you just paint uh, start painting the white color which is completely white I'm just gonna make it completely white uh, so you can see we are able to paint the material but uh, this is not what we wanted cause um, we have done a small mistake I have done this uh, by purpose so that we, you don't face any problem you have to uh, plug the mix shader at the top and the new shader at the bottom so now if you go inside the texture paint you can see uh, what was the mistake so now uh, we can paint the new texture that we have added so yeah just let them yes so now you can see right here you uh, we can paint the new texture on the all other maps so now you can just swap between two mask maps like this is mask map one you can just uh, play with it uh, like this and then this is mask map two you can play with it like this you can change the color to black to just get rid of uh, some uh, textures in some part like this so yeah this is it for the texture painting in this video uh, yeah but this is gonna be a series of creating a realistic environment but this was a basic part in which we are going to talk about how to, uh, to paint the terrains cause this is the most important part when making a terrain inside the realistic environment so I guess this is it for this video we will meet in the next one so till then if you have any kind of doubts in this video or any uh, previous video of my channel so you can just uh, go uh, go down and comment on this video or you can just feel free to uh, message me on Instagram link for my Instagram is uh, inside the description you can directly message me on Instagram your doubts will be clear right away and if you still have uh, still got any doubts I will try to uh, help you out as much as like on video conference or something but yeah for now I guess this is it for this video so we will meet in the next one and if you like this video just hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so yeah till now bye bye